Hello class, it's Ms. Augustine again. So now we're going to use what we've learned in our Getting to Know the Periodic Table um, tutorial. And what we're going to do now is try a worksheet that is in your packet. Um, there should be a worksheet in your Chapter 4 packet that looks like this. And the directions are to please write out a full configuration according to the FBAO principle. Um, then rewrite it to group the energy levels in numerical order, and then draw your filled orbitals in, and then finally write something called a noble gas configuration. So now we're going to start with lithium here, and we're going to go briefly to the next slide to remind ourselves that lithium has atomic number 3. And now I'm going to pull up a worksheet that I'm going to fill in with you. Okay, so here I have the um, worksheet and what I've done is I've changed the order a little bit here because I think it's easier to do the orbital draw first then write your full one line electron configuration then we rewrite in numerical order and then we're going to do something called a noble gas configuration so first I'm going to do the orbital draw and that would mean that we would end up with 1s2 and 2s1, 1, 2, 3 electrons. Remember we said lithium has 3 electrons. And then I would write my electron configuration. And you'll notice when you write your full one line electron configuration, the convention is you write lithium with a colon and a space. And then I've rewritten here 1s2, indicating that the 1s uh, level has two electrons in it and then 2s1 because in the 2s there's only one electron and then rewritten and in this case the rewrite is the same because it's in numerical order already and you'll see when we get into the d sublevel that's when you really need to rewrite things and notice that I highlighted here the 1s2 in red why did I do that well because 1s2 is the same configuration as helium. So then continuing on, we use something called a noble gas configuration, which is just a shorthand. So what you're doing is you're taking advantage of the fact that it's hard to write out on a periodic table, for instance, the entire Dagon uh, configuration because once you get past the third row it starts to get really tedious writing all those 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, whatever. So what we do here is we take a the noble gas that comes before whatever element you're talking about and in this case it's lithium. And how do I know that uh, helium is the noble gas before lithium? Well if you take lithium on your periodic table and go to the end and go up one helium would be the noble gas before lithium and again its configuration would be 1s2 so then you put them into these square brackets or rectangular brackets here and what you end up with is putting helium there for shorthand since helium has that configuration so the noble gas configuration for lithium uh, would be lithium colon brackets the noble gas helium in this case, and then what comes after helium is 2s1. And I believe if you go and you consult your periodic tables that I gave you and look underneath lithium, you will see that they use this noble gas configuration shorthand to make life simple. So now the next one on that worksheet is magnesium, and if we go to the next slide here we see that magnesium has atomic number 12 so now we're going to be filling in for 12 electrons okay so now I'm back to the worksheet and we're going to be doing magnesium and recall we said that magnesium has 12 electrons so I'm going to start with my orbital draw that I have conveniently saved and there it is so again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So magnesium ends with 3s2, and if you look at its placement on the periodic table, that works out nicely. So then the full configuration, we always start with 
magnesium with a colon and a space, and then we have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. Where do those superscripts come from? The superscripts, recall, are the count of how many electrons are at each of those sublevels. Then our next thing to do would be a rewrite. Again, since we don't have any d electrons yet, the rewrite is going to be identical to the full electron configuration. And you'll notice that once again, I have highlighted, highlighted for you um, some of the orbitals in red. And that's because if we take magnesium and look at the periodic table and then follow to the end of the row and go up one, we notice that neon would be the noble gas that comes before magnesium. And neon has atomic number 10, and you'll see here 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 is going to be equal to 10. So then, rewriting it in noble gas configuration, we'll see that we will substitute these, uh, these um, sublevels that are written in red here, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Substitute that for neon, which has atomic number 10. And again, then write just what comes after neon. And since neon has 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, what's left? is what's written up here, 3s2. So we put the 3s2 after the neon. And that is what the noble gas configuration would look like for neon. The next one that I want to do for you is iron. So I've jumped ahead to number 5 in the worksheet. And I want to go back and look at where it is in our periodic table. So here is my little snippet of the periodic table and I find iron is over here, and it has atomic number 26. I want you to notice that it is in the D block of the periodic table, and just for jollies, let's count across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it is going to end with 6D electrons. So now we know that our iron has 26 electrons, so I'm going to start filling things in again. So there is the orbital drawing, 1s with 2 electrons, 2s with 2, 2p with 6, 3s, 2, 3p, 2, 4, 6, 4s, 2, 3d, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1 is 6, okay? So then we would write that out as our one-line electron configuration, and here it's nice to notice 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d6. Now right here, I like to notice, and I'm going to put this in a different color because I can notice that those are not in numerical order. So those have to be then rewritten in numerical order. And so here, the rewritten means rewriting them in numerical order. And again, you'll notice that we've now put it in numerical order. All the ones are together, the twos are together, the threes are together, and the fours are together. So you rewrite it into numerical order, and that is always um, necessary when you get past the Ds, the three Ds. And then finally, you'll notice that I have highlighted here in red what would correspond to the electron configuration of the noble gas that comes before iron. So looking at your periodic table, go to the end of the row and go up one, and that's going to be argon. So now rewritten, I've put in argon, and I've replaced the um, 18 electrons here, which correspond to argon's atomic number. Put argon in my little rectangular bracket thingies. And then after it, I put, staying with numerical order, what comes after argon, which is the 3d6 and the 4s2. So again, I've used argon's configuration. And you can see how that, that becomes 
a much uh, easier way to write things and consult your periodic tables that I gave you and that should agree with what's in your periodic table. So now what I'm asking you to do is to try to use your periodic tables and try to complete the rest of this worksheet and see how far you can get. And again, I will be making more videos for you tomorrow. This is Ms. Augustine signing out.